Welcome back to another video on Full Time Purpose. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the three things that YouTubers should be focused on for massive growth but many do not focus on. These are going to be also mindset tweaks that when I made in regards to my own YouTube channel changed everything. And it has to do with understanding kind of the philosophy with why you may be on YouTube. And if you break it down, you'll see that most likely the reason you're on YouTube is because of either an emotion it makes you feel to be doing what you're doing. So maybe you're sharing an idea, maybe you're making people laugh, maybe you are sharing art, whatever it is, maybe sharing your editing skills. Whatever you're doing, it's something you're already passionate about or you get an emotion or like to give the emotion that you can help other people with by having a stronger mission or helping people to better themselves. So whatever niche you're in, there is a high likelihood that something that you're doing has an either emotion it brings you or an emotion it brings other people. And of course, when you give other people an emotion, a lot of times that comes back to us in a, many, in a powerful way. So the first thing is to be aware of the reason you're making videos to begin with because that is something that will help you to also see why you do what you do and how you can optimize it. Now, the first thing that you can do for massive growth that I see so many people not doing has to do with a mixture of these two things. It has to do with the mixture of trying new things, testing the market, trying new things and stretching outside of the bubble and paying attention to watch time. Now, I know this seems like two very different things. The watch time is the more technical aspect of it, but one thing that I noticed is the more I would experiment with, experiment, like experiment, experiment with different ways of going about sharing my message, the more that it would give new avenues, more things to me to go off of to create more content. Now, as you know, something that Victor and I teach a lot on this channel is that consistency is key. Rather than doing one video every couple weeks, or what it is when the, the schedule of it, we recommend a consistent schedule and something that you do that you put energy into because the more you put out is the more feedback you get back. So when it comes to this process, one thing that I did for example is I started experimenting with different types of videos. I did meditation videos, I did regular videos, I would use this whiteboard that I have, make it more engaging and I would try different things to see how it worked and what I noticed is when I would try new things, what would happen is the watch time on these videos would go up. My meditation videos have people because they're listening to the whole meditation so the watch time goes up and as you may know, the way YouTube growth happens is not necessarily just views, it's the watch time. So if you can get people to stay on longer, then that's going to help your overall channel growth. Now the thing is, is a lot of people don't dig into their own analytics. Go into your YouTube channel on YouTube, type in and go to analytics and look at the different videos you have and pay attention to which videos have the highest watch time. Then look at those videos and see what consistent trends you have because as you pay attention to whatever those consistencies are, you can then see either how you can incorporate that into your teaching. So for example, when I do meditation videos, they tend to do very well. So what I do is I say, okay, let me bring it over here and let me see how I can apply that towards different areas, different topics. If I stayed, I'm in the quote unquote law of attraction metaphysical type niche but I stretch outside of it. I don't like to put myself in a box. Now in the same way, I know what works for my channel because I have that awareness in my analytics but I'm always testing new things. Test new things because you'll never know. If you identify yourself within two weeks of making a channel and you say, I'm only in the Reiki niche of this specific topic, then there may be other things that you could be passionate about that you could be sharing with that Reiki topic but you may limit yourself. But the key is to test it and to see how it does and then see how the audience responds but then to also pay attention to watch time. So that's something that a lot of people don't look into but if you start to look into it, you're, the, the data a lot of times is already there. If you've already been making videos for a couple weeks or a couple months then you already have some data but the more you try new things, the more you will get new data and then you can in a way bring certain elements in to see what keeps people to stay on and YouTube will show you for every video what the retention is of that video. If it starts falling off at 5 minutes and 50 seconds, go to 550 and see what you see. Maybe you see that you start to kind of go on another ramble or you see that you, you forget where you, are, you, you have a certain vibe about the video. So these are things that a lot of people don't think of but it makes such a big difference when you are analyzing the data and then doubling down on what works. 
Now, let's look at it from another point of view. The second thing that so many people do not look at when it comes to YouTube or growth in general is simply adding value. If I could put one word as to what Victor and I really like to help preach to help people to understand the power they have, the more value you put out there in the marketplace, the more attention there's gonna be. Now the value is a subjective thing. It depends upon the way you view it. The value could be an emotion. You could say, well, Aaron, I'm not in the personal development niche. How am I gonna add value? But I'm in the comedy niche. I make prank videos or I make people uh, laugh doing satire. Well, that is an emotion. That is an emotion you make people feel. You make people feel an elevated emotion and then guess what? As they feel an elevated emotion, that has value in of itself, but be clear as to what that is and then find other ways you can add value, other ways to be funny, whatever it is. But there's so many different ways you can add value. And when I look at a lot of people on social media, you know, I pay attention, I've got friends on social media, I know people on social media, and when I see people that are having difficulty growing, I look at their value. Are they adding value? And all my, my Instagram has been growing. It grows not as fast as YouTube because most of my focus is on YouTube, of course, but it grows by about five to 10,000 followers a month. And that's because I'm simply adding value in every single post and I do two a day. I stay consistent. So I live by what I preach. And that is something, and I have this intention to grow on Instagram. I'm not saying that's everyone's, that's everyone's focus. And in general, I think that in the beginning, starting off, you should double down and really become clear as to a couple avenues rather than spreading yourselves too thin. Rather than having a post on Tumblr and a post on Facebook and a post on this and a post on that, double down or put all that energy into making YouTube pop, making the Instagram pop, whatever your focus is, just be clear with it. But pay attention to the value you are giving. How does this help other people, even if it's an emotion? And that's what I focus on. I think, and what I decided to do with my channel is to make my channel on YouTube about that of practical advice for people in the LOA community or how to make things practical, how to make awareness practical, which means it's all about how can I use this. And having that perspective allowed me to stand out and I'll also allowed every single video to be valuable. So value, think in terms of value. Here's another thing. Victor and I have both learned this. When you make things about value, you get outside of your own ego, it becomes easier and easier to create content because it's almost like it's just an expansive, it's a different type of energy. It's kind of hard to explain, but like this video I'm doing right now, I simply knew that I had, I wanted to make a video on this, co this kind of idea and it's just like, I just go. I don't have to really think about it because it's this sharing type vibe. When you start to tap into this value, this type of, uh, this type of energy, things will happen for you. It will draw people to you. It will allow massive growth because you become somebody that's known as somebody that adds value. Attention goes where that of the interest and the value is. If that is something that impacts other people, people are gonna pay attention to that. People see my, my posts on Instagram or YouTube and they're like, oh, I wanna follow because I wanna hear more about how this stuff can help my life or change my life, whatever it is. In the same way, think in terms of value. Now, the third thing, that people simply aren't focused on when it comes to that of growing a YouTube channel is relationship and engagement. Relationship and engagement. How is your relationship with that of your followers, with of that of the subscribers? This is so important. I'm even doubling down on this more than ever before and I'm learning also in my own videos how to almost bring in more relatable things. Not with the intention of, oh, I wanna grow and I wanna be more relatable. I wanna share more of my personality because when I get into YouTube, I get into this mode of just like, my name's Aaron and this is what I do and it's like this intention, but what I'm learning more so, that's the value side of Aaron. That's the value side of what I do, which will always be there. However, the relationship you have with your audience is the most important thing. This could be you engaging with them and you sharing your own stories, you opening up to them, you being vulnerable to them. I did a live Q&A the other day on Instagram and when I was doing it, I opened up with a whole bunch of things that I liked that I never shared before. Something like Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter movies. Sharing that, people giving an inside look to my life is developing a relationship with them. Now the value is something that's also there because I'm also giving value in many ways, but bringing in these relatable things in your life. That develops a relationship because people don't connect with just the content, people connect with people. 
People connect with that of things they relate to and being and having a relationship is about relating. So find more ways to relate. I see a lot of big YouTubers and some of them are really missing out on that of the relatability factor and understanding that it's okay to be human. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to have this human aspect because it actually makes it even more engaging and it even causes more growth. There are a lot of people I've noticed that are smaller getting big now on YouTube that have that really strong engagement factor, that really strong relationship with their people and it just causes growth in so many levels because when you care about your people, they also care about you. When you add value to the people, it's something that comes back to you. So these three things are things that so many people miss out on. And if you want to experience massive growth, which what you do, first off, try new things, experiment, see how, experiment, experiment, experiment on exactly what that could be, see how you can do different things and then measure how that's working, look at increasing watch time over views. Secondly, start to focus more on how you can add value to the people that are watching you. The more value you add, the more people are going to want to be there. And then thirdly, relationship. How are you relating? Are you engaging? Are you replying to comments? Are you doing live Q&As? Are you finding ways of engaging and really developing that level of connection? So with that being said, if you want to understand more about all this process, how you can go full time doing what you love, there's going to be a free training in the top of the description box below that Victor and I did which will show you exactly how to take something that's your passion and turn it into your full-time career just like Victor and I have both done. We give our best tips in that training so it's there for you if you want it. Other than that, Victor and I will see you on the next video. Peace, much love, namaste.